Register early for the Community Centre Investment Fund from the 3rd of May at drcd.gov.ie. Click register, fill in your contact details and ensure you select primary authorised user as the user type. If you hold an existing contract with Pubbel, you can add your URN and onboarding code onto the existing organisation side. If you do not have your onboarding code, enter your URN and click email onboarding code. If you're a new organisation to DRCD or Pubbel, select onboard my organisation. To help you onboard, the portal will show you a checklist of details needed to complete the onboarding process. Make sure you have the list of details available to you and tick the boxes as appropriate. Once you have all the required details, click continue. In the onboarding section, please add your company information. If you have a company registration number, charity number or an industrial and provident number, please select yes for the following questions and add in the relevant numbers. Otherwise, please select no. Fill in your organisation's contact details and click save and continue when completed. Review the details you have entered. If all details are correct, click confirm. If details need to be amended, click edit. A verification will be sent to your email address. If you did not receive this, you can click resend email. If you're still having issues, you can click contact support. This is the email you'll receive for verification. All you have to do is click the hyperlink. Please note that this link will expire after 72 hours. Once you click the verification link in your email, you will be redirected to this landing page. Click continue to proceed with the registration process. Your primary authorised user is the person who can sign off on the contract. Here's an overview of the PAU role. Please take the time to read it before clicking continue. If you currently have a primary authorised user set up with Pubble, select either yes or no to the question, are you replacing an existing PAU? If yes, use the drop down arrow to select the relevant replacement reason and then enter the previous PAU's name. If you're a new organisation, select no and click continue. The board or committee members emails that you enter in this section will receive an Adobe sign to confirm their agreement to the PAU application. Enter the name of board member one first and then use the drop down menu to select their role on the board. Enter their email address and contact number and then click continue. Repeat the same steps for board member two and then click continue. Please make sure the email addresses are correct here as they cannot be changed once the form is submitted. Click edit if you need to amend the details. If the information is correct, click confirm and submit. Once these authorization forms are signed and submitted by both board members, please allow three to five working days for them to be reviewed. Please ensure you complete the PAU form as early as possible to avoid delays. Once the authorization review process is complete, you'll receive a confirmation email of same. Please note you will not have full access to your dashboard until the application go live on the 7th of June. This is what you will see on your dashboard once your PAU form has been approved. Again, you will not have the option to select the programme until the application go live on the 7th of June.